Hi friends and welcome back to my channel and today's video. So today's Swedish word is animal, which is djur. Djur. So today I am going to review two palettes. Yes, two palettes. They are both from Menagerie Cosmetics, which is located in the US. Menagerie Cosmetics started up by calling themselves Makeup Monsters. So if you're looking at this palette, this is the Dragon Child palette, and it says right underneath Makeup Monster. Makeup Monster Cosmetics, by the way. <laughs> this is what it looks like, and this is their first ever palette that they came out with. They did, however, rebrand, and they are an indie brand, by the way, located in the US, but they did rebrand, and now they are called Menagerie Cosmetics, and this is what this palette looks like. This is the Feral palette. It has this beautiful packaging. I just adore this, and this is what it looks like. One quick note about the Feral palette. If you were to purchase this right now, this is what it's going to look like. They did change the palette just because of the fact that customers did not enjoy this row right here, with which has three pretty simu similar shades. So what they did was that they changed two colors into the two that you can see on the screen right now. For people like me that already has this palette, it is pretty simple. You can just contact the brand and you'll get the two new shades for free. And one thing as well is that this palette is magnetic. Now what's good about that is that you can just very, very easily take the shadows out. I always do it with a knife. I have a knife right beside me, not for anything other than just popping these babies out. So I'm just gonna show you real, real quick how I do it, or not show you, but I just kinda stick it in there. I hope you can see, and then I just take it out. And then if you do get the two new shades, you can just put them in right here. You can take out other shades if you want to, like you, do, you don't have to um, take out these shades if you don't want to. I, for instance, love this shade that they removed, so I'm gonna keep that, but yeah, you do you. <laughs> now, there were some controversy regarding the two new shades, I will say. So I'm just gonna talk about this really, really quick because I just personally don't see the issue. If you do, then that is totally fine. You are entitled to your own opinion. But what I wanna say is that people were a little bit upset about the fact that they changed an already existing palette. So instead of taking the criticism and applying that to a new palette, if they ever come up with a new palette, taking the criticism and applying it to that palette, so in, instead they changed it and you do get the shades for free, but you do have to pay for shipping. So take that as you will. I, as I said, don't really see the problem. So when you bought this palette, you knew exactly which shade you were gonna get and you got them. There was nothing wrong with the quality. They didn't change two shades because of lack in quality or whatever they just changed it because they wanted to make customers happy but then also i do think that it has to do with the future so that they will get more sales because at the end of the day they need to put food on the table and they need to have a roof over their head uh, but as i said you are free to your own opinion i as i said don't really understand the problem but enough said about that let's just hop into a little bit about menagerie cosmetics Menagerie Cosmetics is an indie brand and they are located in the US, but they do ship worldwide. As always, all of the products that I do talk about on my channel are cruelty free, but in case you are new here or just searching for a review, I can happily say that Menagerie Cosmetics is cruelty free and they're also vegan. I'm not really sure if they are gonna have all of their products vegan, and things change and so on, but they do state on their website and they make it real, real clear that they don't use any animal products or any anim animal, like for instance, there's, there is very common that you use a bee wax or lanolin or something like that in products, but they don't use that. So as of right now, anyway, their products are vegan and the palettes that I am reviewing are vegan. They also don't use any talc in their makeup, which is, if that is something that you are concerned about or don't like, then these don't contain any talc. 10% of every sale is donated to the Animal Welfare Institute, which, works to, 
to stop animal testing. So just really quick before I started doing my review, I went to the website just to see if there was something that I wanted to mention to you guys that I might have missed in my research about the brand, but uh, there was one change and that is that the palettes retailed for $39, I do believe anyway. That is what I can remember, or even $40, but they are now down to 35, and they don't have that like crossover that it's just sale. So it seems like both of the palettes retail for $35 each. Shipping and everything like that depends on where you live. I think that the easiest way to find out how much it's gonna cost to ship to your country is to just go on the website and check and see for yourself. So if you're not new here, you already know that I am a little bit of a dork when it comes to my eyeshadow palettes. I usually keep the slip for my palettes depending on, I don't know, I just keep it. Like I keep it for my bronzers, from the balm and so on. I just keep the slip. But then also I think that this slip on the Dragon Child palette, this is not the slip, this is the actual palette, is very, very muted versus this one that is prettier in my opinion. So this is just what they look like. Um, not that that matters, <laughs> I just thought I would mention it. It says on the Dragon Child palette that it variates on how much you get in this palette, but it seems like you get 1.8 to 2 grams per, pro per pan, I mean, not per product, per pan. And the same thing on this palette, but this palette, it says that it is 2 uh, grams per shadow, and both of them contains 12 shades. When you open up the Dragon Child palette, you get this little design, you could call it, and it just says, if you want to conquer the world, you best have dragons. You do get 10 mattes and 2 shimmers, and this is the shimmer, and then also this one. One thing I do want to say is that you can see that there's a lot of deep shades in this. So you don't have a lot of like lighter shades. For instance, when it comes to the greens, you have this minty color. But what I can take of this is that this is probably something that is going to be really good if you are of a deeper complexion. I know that a lot of you guys with a deeper complexion says that lighter shades can tend to look a little bit ashy or even disappear on you. So with this, I don't think it would because you do have two variations of red, red not red, red, which I have used today. I did use both the Feral palette and then also this palette because the only shades that I didn't hop into were the reds. I will also say that I haven't used this one. So with the Feral palette, you also get 10 mattes and two shimmers. Now the shimmers are this one and then also this one. If you do get the newer palette, you will have three shimmers and nine mattes just because one of the new shades are shimmer and then then one is matte, so one shimmer is going to replace a matte shade. Also, a difference is that you do get a mirror in this palette, but this is a little bit of a cheaper product or a cheaper alternative because I have said this before in two of my videos that I have done that this opened up. Oh, how, how to say? But this is a little bit broken. I personally don't mind. I can just glue it on, and there's. There's no problem, but I'm just mentioning it to the people who do because I know that we all have different preferences and so on. So I thought that it would be worth mentioning. Now the shimmers in these two palettes I feel are very, very similar and they are all, both or all four of them are very, very thick. Um, I can't speak on the newer shade or the two shades that I don't have in the Ferro palette, but I can talk about the ones that I do have. The shimmers are not my favorite. These are the two from the Dragon Child palette. I'm just gonna swatch them right here. They swatch beautiful, but they are of a thicker consistency, and I feel like with hooded eyes, it sometimes can look a little bit thick on the lids versus if you use any other lighter shade. Today, I have used both of these palettes, as I said, I did not film it or anything, but I don't wear the shimmers on my lids. They're just, I, I didn't, I don't like gold that much. I do, however, love this shade as an inner corner highlight because it is opaque and it's really, really beautiful. So all of these shimmers are very opaque. So just underneath here, you have the two shades or the two uh, shimmer shades in the Feral palette. Um, I have used both of these and 
What I can say is that the green one looks to have hard pan. Now that I went into it, I was like, oh, it looks to have hard pan, but it doesn't like, it looks like it, but the brush can still pick up product and everything like that. It just looks like it has hard pan, but it doesn't perform like it has hard pan. And I am okay with my shades looking like they have hard pan, but not performing like them. That is totally fine by me, but just something I wanted to say. Now, in recent videos I've done, I have talked about the matte formula and that the matte formula is very, very kick up -y, and they are. But <laughs> if you watched my throwback video with the Subculture palette, I try that out again and I love the palette, so don't get me wrong. But I did realize that that palette has a lot more kick up than these to have so don't expect as much kick up as the subculture palette if you have that and you have tried it that is not something you need to worry about also I did also say in one of my videos that I was never going to use either of these palettes if I had already done my base just because of the fallout but I have multiple times actually so I have used the feral palette because this shade I love and then this shade I just love for like an everyday so I have used this a couple of times when I have already done my base. No fallout, nothing like that, but keep in mind just to tap your brush off. Just talking about one more thing that I have said in some of my recent videos, I'll link them down below. So I did use the yellow in one of my videos to pack on my lid, and this is a beautiful, beautiful yellow. I mean, look at this. It's just beautiful. It's very, very um, bright, especially if you're using sort of like a lighter base. You don't have to go in with a white, but you can go in with a lighter concealer of some sort. I went in with the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk, and I got so many large patches. But what I will say is that I have realized that it is the Milk Pencil uh, or the NYX Pencil that does that. It's not the actual product because this has happened to me so many times. So without spending too much more time talking about the formula and so on, I will just say that the mattes are the star of the show. They are super easy to work with. They're super easy to blend. I don't have a problem with it. I have used these several times off camera and I just absolutely love them. You guys know I am not, I'm just gonna pop these open and show you, but I have said it so many times that I do prefer my cool tones and I don't like a lot of red, orangey, warm shades, which I have on today. So that's why I kind of used these today because this and this and then ooh, this one I have never used before. So I thought, why not just hop into them, try them out before I review them to say how they perform and they perform so beautifully. This is one of my all time favorite formula. I can say they're so good. Honestly, they're so good. I don't, I do think that Menagerie Cosmetics deserves so much more love, but I will just show you guys the swatches and then um, Yeah, I'm just gonna show you the swatches and I will swatch them on my arm uh, Without any primer and I'm just gonna do finger swatches so that you can see how they look Just like the shades of them. So I'll just go ahead and do that. So one thing I do want to say as well is that the formula of these are not the same. In my opinion, they are not. The thing is that if you look at the back of this, you can't really see the ingredients. Now, I'm sure that I could go to the website and see the ingredients. By the way, I do have the slip of the Dragon Child palette, so of course I can see um, those ingredients, but it really doesn't matter if I can't see these. But in my opinion anyway, it's not the same. I feel like the shades in this palette is much more, um, now I'm talking about the matte, but they are softer and they are crumblier. So these contain more kick up than for instance, these which are a little bit firmer and very, very soft. Another thing, they stain. These stain. You can see that I have a little bit of a green spot right here after swatching as well. Um, since they are vegan, they are probably not allowed to be called eyeshadows since we have different laws in Europe and in the US. When using certain dyes that is vegan, 
They are not allowed in the US to call them eyeshadows. They can call them shadows, they can call them something along those lines, but they cannot be called eye shadows because they stain. So in the in Europe, they are allowed to be called eye shadows. So in my country, they are eye shadows, but depending on where you live, take it as you will. If you don't want to purchase because of that, then I totally not agree but i totally respect that and i respect your decision i have had staining a lot of times with these palettes because i have used them a lot especially the blue shadows in the dragon child palette i feel stain but what i do and this works for me every single time is that i use an oil to cleanse off my eyeshadow if you don't have oil and you don't want to go out and purchase an oil you can use coconut oil if you have some take it around your eyes you can use it to remove your makeup uh, around your eyes and then I just wipe away the rest of my makeup I cleanse and do everything that I'm supposed to do and I do have staining but I have a lot less staining than if I don't use an oil and then in the morning when I wake up it's usually gone so I don't have a problem with staining just because of the fact that during the night it disappears on me anyway if not then I usually use eyeshadow the next day and I cover it up or I can just go in with a little bit of concealer and that covers it up if I if it really bothers me. If I had to pick one of these two that I love the most, it is the Feral palette, um, mostly because I love the colors in here. As I've said, and I think you could see it in the swatches, but I do understand why she put in these three, because when looking at them in the pan, yes, they are a little bit boring, but this shade is so beautiful. This has a pink tint to it. This is a little bit of a cooler tone brown, and then this is a little bit more of that warmer brown. So I do understand why she put them in there, but I can definitely see that not everyone could appreciate them as I do. <laughs> yeah, this is just my favorite palette because I love the greens and then I love this shade and this purple is so unique. I hope you could see that in the swatches, but it's like a, I mean, you can see that it's a real, really bright purple, but in my eyes, it's like super duper unique. The yellow contains a lot of kick up, but that is something that all yellows does for me. I have three favorite yellows as of this point. One is in the Certified palette and one is in my Viseart palette, and both of them contain a lot of kick up as well. I think I have been rambling on for a very long time, and I think that I've said everything that I wanted. So I do hope that you enjoyed this little review. I know it came super duper late, but I'm swamped with palettes. So I'm just trying to oh, get through them. Oh my God, I have a hair here. Problems of a dog. So yeah, I love this brand. I love the fact that they give back. I think that the owner is super duper sweet. So yeah, I do recommend both of them, but I like my feral palette a little bit more just because it is a little bit more of my sort of colors that was all for me today if you like the video please like it and uh, don't forget to subscribe oh my god i'm totally lost you are free to thumbs the video down in case you didn't like it as well don't forget to subscribe as i said and i'll see you guys very very soon bye guys